Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about something important today, especially for those who are considering fat dissolving treatments, whilst also having weight loss injections like semi-glutide, azampic, sasanda. I totally get the appeal of weight loss injections and their positive effects. However, let's not forget that they can come with some not so fun side effects like nausea and diarrhea, which can happen to about 20% of users. And these side effects can lead to dehydration. So we need to be cautious. When you're on a fat dissolving journey, your body works hard to break down those stubborn fat pockets. And this adds in some extra work for your kidneys. So when we combine these treatments, it's tough to gauge how much stress we're putting on those critical organs. So as a practitioner, my main priority is the client's well-being. But here's the thing, if complications arise from the weight loss injections, we may get unfairly blamed for any issues that crop up during the fat dissolving process. We want you to stay safe and healthy and we also need to protect our reputation. That's why I recommend separating these treatments. It helps us to closely monitor your progress and ensures that your kidneys are in tip top shape when we tackle fat dissolving. Remember, it's not a race. These things take time and your health should always come first. By prioritizing your well-being and following a cautious approach, we can ensure that your journey to a healthier you stays on track. If you're not on the same page with your practitioner about timing or the approach to these treatments, it might be best to have an open conversation or consider temporarily parting ways. Ultimately, we want what's best for you. So let's take some precautions, put safety first and keep that positive journey towards health and going, going strong. Until the next time, stay healthy and stay safe. See you soon.